Good morning, guys. What's going on? Hope all is well. Today is April 19th, 2023. I have to go to a commercial facility, commercial building that has a bunch of carrier infinity systems. And I guess there's no AC over there. I think I posted a video about finding a serial model serial number with the infinities it's that system but the day i was there to diagnose it the warehouse manager told me the office manager wasn't there and they needed to reschedule so i couldn't go through it so i'm gonna go over there now and check out what the compressor inverter error is or why why it's given the error well let's check it out This is how I know what unit I'm working on. While I'm working on the heat pump, I'm just going to put it to electric only. Grab some tools. There you go. pressure just wanted to check and then I'm gonna open this up and check the compressor out it. it's like the hurt locker of this guy so you have two sides two connectors to this compressor Right here, inverter so they're all equal point two they're equal across start run common which is right here you have your inverter side here which comes down here comes down to PL1 so let me just check that connection too at the board so this these red white black 
go into the other side of the compressor. Over here. Turn this off. All right, so I'm gonna do black to red, red to white, and black to white. So right now I have red to black, white to black, and I'll do white to red white to red so after looking this system up in the carrier app i'm supposed to have 0 0.203 across each white to red white to black and black to red um and i'm all over the place in the diagnostic it said it could be my compressor or my and my inverter board so what I'm going to do now is just for kind of a little cheat, I'm going to keep this unplugged here where I have my connection unplugged there. I'm going to put this fan back on, and then I'm going to go downstairs after I power this up and call for heating or cooling and see if my error code changes, and it should. If it doesn't, then I know it's probably just the board alone but based on the prices for this board and this compressor for this year it's probably cheaper to get a condenser or a heat pump inverter um rather than replace it. it's nine years old rather than repair it's nine years old but again i'll have to price all that out for the customer and go from there but let me see if my error code changes when i keep this the unplugged only thing i have unplugged is the compressor at the compressor but not this PL1. This is for the other side of the compressor, which I believe is just the inverter board. But let me go downstairs after I power this up, put it back to heating and see if I get an error code. Because right now it's on heat source only. So we're gonna put system in control, done. I'm gonna switch over for a call to cool. And we're gonna call for 68. I'm gonna wait five minutes, seven minutes, different code than I was getting before, which was inverter compressor error. That'll tell me the the logic's actually doing its thing. I'll wait the five or seven minutes up here. It's kind of stuffy down there with all the people working. Uh, righty, righty, righty. Oh yeah, it's air conditioned. On this one, this is a different unit. Oh yeah, nice. This one is six two six one. This is heating. Should be. Oh, this is. Yep, it's hot. Spinning now with the compressor unplugged, and it should throw a code. let it do its thing go through a cycle but as you can see it's not the compressors unplugged nine blinks on my amber one two three four five six seven eight nine and then fast blinks one one two three four five six Seven, eight, seven. So nine and seven. Okay, now let's go see if the user interface throws Upstairs. a code. I'm gonna leave this inverter board, the, the, the Molex from the inverter board disconnected to see if I get a different code. If I don't get a different code, I know the board's bad. I just spoke to Carrier. They said to usually just replace, especially with something this old, the board and the compressor even if you isolate it. i think that's crazy but i'm not going to go against what they say but i still want to see if i get a different code if i don't get a different code then i would think 
this is just me speaking <laughs> out loud right now. I would think if I don't get a different code, then the board was bad. If I do get a different code, at least it's reacting to the lack of compressor from the board. Which goes down to the defrost board and stuff down there, or the main control board. Um, yeah, so let me check downstairs now. the heat. Actually, let me set it to 74. Times is 5.58 a.m. So we're going to go into our service menu and see if we threw any more codes. Five forty-four. So fourteen minutes ago, static pressure, probably dirty filter, no compressor pump. Okay, so that's because it's unplugged. And outdoor unit communication fault. That's because I turned off the power. Inverter temp out of range. That was a couple days ago. Okay, so let me clear these back. And Assemble this. I'm going to put these jackets back in. We plug the compressor back in, and then my boss will have to discuss it with the building owner or building management. throw the fan back on put this back together and we'll go from there leave the power off and then we'll go to heat source and just heat for electric heat only leave this on because I don't want a communication fault I was just thinking and I'll put the heat source to electric heat only that way it doesn't throw another code okay so we're gonna go to menu heat source and set it just to electric and 68 um, this way it doesn't throw another code and I have it plugged in out there, the disconnect, so we don't get a communication error. Guys, if it were me, if it was me just diagnosing without speaking to Carrier, I would start with the board. But Carrier says it's the board and the compressor. I mean, I understand the inverter side, the ohms were way off from 0.203, but... Can't that just be the control board? Because that's where I was checking was coming from the board. But again, the compressor comes into that board. That was her reasoning. Um, it might be because it's nine years old and she knows it's out of warranty. I have no idea. But um, that's and I say she when I'm talking about tech support. So whatever. It is what it is. I'm going to go on to the next job. Um, let's see what else is there today. I trust that diagnosis by tech support. Like I said, I'd rather just go with the... I would just rather go with the inverter board. 
and then if you know and tell the and tell the customer that tech support recommended the compressor and the board but I, I don't know the compressor checked out good to me based on the values anyway all being I think 0.2 or 0.3 whatever they were um, who knows all right we're going to the next job I'm going to the next job guys I'm at a system not cooling 410A 410A Call this the doctor It's pretty good I have one in, over there It's a field piece also But I don't like it at all I don't know the model Let me see the model on it This one's terrible I mean, I have, I have bad luck with it, so that doesn't mean. It's, it's, I know some people like it. Not a fan. Working with the leak detector, I'm gonna go open the evaporator coil because it's in an attic. So then I'll start the leak detector out here. EXV, I believe, or EEV. There it is. Right in the center of the coil. I got a light on it. Side and check with the wand, the leak detector, see if I can find anything. All right, guys, so I looked around here. The coil 
inside of the compressor. Um, nothing there. So that evaporator coil has a clear leak in it. Um, we're going to leave this. We're going to get him a price on a new coil, um, which may, no, it's not under warranty. 2012, I think it would have been one year ago. But that's, uh, that sucks. Yeah, so six and a half after running for about eight minutes, and we're sub cooling eight plus or minus. Uh, One sub cooling. It's crazy. So it's staying between one, 1 1.2 and about 2.4. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate everything. Enjoy the weather. It's beautiful in New York today. Wherever you are, enjoy the weather. Thanks, guys.